Hi Atari friends, in this video I would like to demonstrate how to sample audio on the Atari computer using a sampler cartridge. But before we start, I would like to demonstrate some of the most known sampled audio on the Atari computer. Let's put a software from the UNO card just to demonstrate some examples. So first, one of the most famous games on the Atari computer, the Ghostbusters. <laughs> It featured a sampled it featured a sampled audio probably it was not sampled on the Atari computer but on another system and then ported to the Atari computer back in the 80s let's look at another example this is a, a game called Mimarax Force and I believe that this audio was sampled by Chris Morris on the Atari computer. The battle begins. It's probably this is his own voice. And uh, it was sampled on the Atari, if I remember well, using a, a cartridge made by a UK company called 2-Bit Systems. Right, of course. It's just a game with uh, some sampling audio at the beginning. There is another game called The Last Guardian, also by uh, Chris. Guardian. Again, another sampling audio, sampling voice where the game starts. And of course, there is also the game Berserk that also had some uh, au audio voice speech that is being sampled during the gameplay. There are also some um, demos. It has been uh, many demos that's featuring some I believe that this audio was sampled on another system, probably on the Amiga and then ported to the Atari computer. Let's, let's show one last demo. Not sure how this audio was sampled on the Atari. But this is a demo from Poland, and it uh, features uh, some tracks, audio tracks on the Atari, showing the capability of uh, playing sampled audio. So, let's see how you can sample audio on the Atari computer itself using a cartridge. There are several uh, hardware built in the early 80s for the Atari computer and that allow you to sample audio. One of them was uh, called the Parrot that was connected to the joystick port of the Atari computer and uh, there was some hardware that were some cartridges that was um, connected to the cartridge port. This cartridge is a Dutch cartridge that was made by Alpha System from the Netherlands. There was a cartridge called the uh, 4-bit system from Poland and another cartridge from the UK. Um, 
So how this cartridge works, first you have to insert the cartridge into the cartridge slot of the Atari. I'm just using an extender here so we can just uh, stick the cartridge vertically. You have a cable that connects on one side to the cartridge and to the other side to the audio source. I'm going to connect here, connect it to my PC computer and just play some uh, audio file on it. And you need to boot a software. You can boot a software from a floppy drive. That's what I used to do back in the in the early 90s or just right now it's connected the software is as an is a booting on the Atari computer from my SIO to PC. So what you see, you see a software that allow you to sample uh, the audio. And um, let's uh, play something so we can see what we can do with the sampled audio. First, let's clean the buffer. So delete anything that the buffer holds. And let's play. Now you push S for sample. Yeah, that's the famous commercial from Alan Alba, played on the Atari computer, through the cartridge, and we can hear it through the monitor speakers. Anytime you want to sample, we just push start. And now the Atari captured the audio from the cartridge. So when the buffer fills with the raw audio data, we can play it back by pushing the P letter, play. And of course, we are limited to the buffer size, to the size of memory that we had. So we couldn't capture um, just a couple of seconds because we only have 64K and I think this is buffer itself is limited to probably like 20K. Well, I have to calculate that. Anyway, what else we can do? We can um, increase the speed. So let's play the audio faster. Play it slower. Or we can also uh, mirror the audio and play it backwards. Swap it back. Anyway, you can also you can save this audio data as a binary file, and the disk contains a routine and a tool that allow you to play it back without the need of using the software or the cartridge. So you can embed those samples within your games to make some of the uh, voice and audio effects that you would like to add to your games. And that's all. That's the tool that we have back in the early 90s, late 80s, that allow us to sample audio on the Atari 8-bit computer and use them uh, for games and for software. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this short video. I hope you enjoyed it and keep enjoying your Atari.